fixing to do a walkthrough tour of the uh, 2023 Imagine XLS 23LDE. So only had it for about three and a half weeks. Slept in it for two nights. The door is uh, wind resistant. You can see it's on real stiff hinges. Uh, that's good because if you get out and you know hold on the door, it could slam on somebody, some young ones. So it's it's a good feature to have. These steps fold up and fold out real easy. I like the way this is designed. I don't like those steps that fold up into the entrance because you've you got dirt all over those. You're going to put dirt, dirt in your camper. So we like this. You can put a mat down here on the ground to wipe your feet on, or you can even mount some on your steps so you're not tracking your dirt in. This handle here is an easy handle that folds that keeps your uh, door locked when you're in travel mode. This is with the slide in. Come over here to the control panel. You can see that we have full solar. It's solar panel on top. You can also add one more solar panel without making any modifications. You'll have, uh, it's 190 watts on it right now. You can add another 190 watts, you have 380. It has one deep cell battery, but I would recommend putting two um, lithium batteries on there. You could do a lot with that. This is motion detecting. You can see the lights went out. Right now, I've got the ceiling lights on. You can turn them off. Everything's working on solar right now. I'm not even hooked up to my truck right now with the power. You can see the water is empty because I don't have anything in the tank. Okay. Your black is showing green low and gray and all that because there's nothing in it they're all been flushed and sanitized there's this kitchen i'm not going to really show all the drawers and everything in the kitchen there's just so much storage in here you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten drawers counting these two over here and then you've got shelf space in here You got a place over here, shelf space get there. And then you can put a tall trash can here. This was a uh, shelf that you didn't need. And you can keep your, uh, we had a real big trash can in there we got from Ikea. Your refrigerator will run on solar from day one, unless you turn it off manually. It made ice going down the road uh, where we were on a trip and we had ice in six hours from the time we left our house. And it's just push on this to open. You can see it has a light on it because it's on solar. And then reach underneath here and push up and that opens your freezer. And like I said, right now we're in travel mode. The uh, slides are in. You still have access to your bathroom. There's your TV. It's a 32-inch smart TV. If you max out your solar and put more panels up there and get you about six lithium batteries, you can watch TV and run your air conditioner. This TV, this table is fixed. It's not in travel mode. Um, well, I mean, excuse me. It is in travel mode. Most of the manufacturers, besides Grand Design, you have to lower your table to vote going to travel mode. This is fixed to the ground, and I like that. Because when we were reviewing different brands, they had them in travel mode, and I wanted to see what it looked like when it was up. And it just seemed like a lot of work, and I like easy, and this was easy. I'll show you also, too, this is a place where you can put your shoes when you come in. You got plenty of room for about three pairs of shoes down there. You got deep pull-out drawers. One other thing in this kitchen, they don't have anything mounted here, but you can hang your jackets there. If, you, if it's raining outside, you'd want to put some coat hooks there, I recommend. Over here by your um, power panel, I would put some hooks for keys. Have your little welcome mat down there. Your seats um, recline. They vibrate a little bit and they also light up. You got your two big windows here and big windows over here and they have all these have privacy shades and they're just pulled down I really like that dude they didn't have any strings to hang anywhere 
Um, I, didn't, I didn't want loose strings. I'll show you the bathroom. It's got a real nice sink, nice faucet. It's got storage here. It's got room for almost two trash cans underneath the sink. You also have a GFI right here, so you can hook anything up to that if you got plenty of solar. You got plenty of room in your medicine cabinet. Over here on the other side of the bathroom, you've got storage for towels. They go really deep. They go about four feet deep. I'm 6'2". I never hit my head in the shower. Got plenty of room in there. This is a 36 by 30. It's not a triangle, which I couldn't stand when I was looking at other campers. They had so many triangles, and I just felt claustrophobic. This one gave me plenty of elbow room. I'm not your average guy. I'm a 235-pound 6'2 guy. We had this dealer installed, which is a Max fan. Has about four speeds. It can go in or out. I like it going out for sure. And then you can open up some screen screens in your bedroom, get you a good airflow. You don't have to turn, you can boondock, which is what we actually did the two nights we had it. And that screen is also, that's also an emergency exit window. And it pushes out really far. And it has a, uh, Shade on the I think the only flaw on this whole design is there's no shade on the uh, window for your door. So we always hung a um, towel over there in the door. When we'd open the door, put a towel over it so we'd keep the sun out. We like sleeping late. You have plenty of storage on each side. You got two drawers pulled out there. You got a pocket on each side. You can charge your phones. You got room for a CPAP. You got power sources in each one. These lights turn to blue or white. I'll raise this so we get a little more light in here. This also opens up. Let's show you the storage space. You got plenty of storage in here. The bed lifts up. I'm not going to demonstrate it because I'm holding the camera with one hand. That is an upgraded mattress. Paid $650. Got it off Amazon. Highly recommend it. The mattress that came with it was so thin, it was ridiculous. Um, wouldn't even attempt to even sleep on it. Not even the first night. We took it out at the dealership. You do have a vent here, but there's no fan. But we raised it up so that when we had the fan going out in the bathroom, get a little more airflow. One thing about this camper is there's not going to be any vents in the floor. It's, it's all ventless. All your vents are mounted on the side of things. You can see there's one right here. There's some in the ceiling right here. So you have plenty of air conditioning. You also are prepped for TV over here. And power source. Mm -hmm. There's your light switch here. Which I didn't turn the lights on. I could have. See, it's running off solar. I guess I can turn the lights on the bed just to show you. That's the blue light. That's good for reading when your companion is going to sleep. And there's a white light, and then it's off. Okay. And like I said, it's got big pockets on each side. It can hold a CPAP machine. Pocket doors in travel mode. You can take that off and slide it. It'll be private. Real porcelain toilet. Heavy duty. Another pocket door here. You can see the slides in, so I'm going to go and turn on the lights here. This is all on solar. Let's see if we can get this fan turned on so you can see that. Open the bin up. You got three speeds over here. So that's actually blowing in. I'm gonna turn it and have it blow out. Basically where you want it anyway. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and close that.
this is your view in the bathroom no waste of space in this camper there's no hallways you can see you have a nice view out that window you have a nice view out that window you have a nice view out that window got a cup holder on each side this will come down and you have two more cup holders an armrest right here too and this is all in travel mode you can come in here use the bathroom go sleep on your bed get anything out of the refrigerator make you a sandwich you ain't gotta let the side out we talked to uh about four different mechanics that work at the uh, general rv that we picked up the camper from they said you can sit in the sofa while with the slide in would not affect it there's no carpet under the slide it's all seamless it does have a tote a tow kick plate so you have to be careful with that i'm going to demonstrate the uh slide going out come over here This is all run on solar. The trailer's not even hooked up to, to my truck battery. Now it's gonna give you a little bit of an orange light because we used power and it's gonna go back to good. So we've used a little bit of power. It'll recharge. It only takes about Four hours to recharge everything up. You hadn't used it. You got plenty of um, screens in your windows. I'm opening the window right now, and you got a screen right here. You let the breeze in. Big window right off the kitchen. If this comes down. You can use it to clean anything. Really like this design. It's easy. Got a little bit of water in there. Get to your stove. You can see the knob lighting up. It's a little compact stove. Most all the campers have got them. You need to put your pizza stone in there to regulate your heat. You could cook pizza, cookies, maybe some lasagna. The microwave is fine. We never use it. Brand new. You got a fan right here that is vented. That is a vented fan. I confirmed that with the dealer. Like sh I'll show you here. Look at all the space you have in here now that slides out. Now, the only thing about this sofa is it's not a power sofa, meaning that it won't recline itself. You have to come down and you have to pull on this lever right here. This will pop up. And this will, you lean back, and now I'm leaning back in full mode. You got your um, USB ports over here that will work on solar. You can see the light. Anything that's got blue light in it will work on solar. Um, this does not have storage underneath here because you got a, a lot of electrical underneath here and you got a water pump over there. You can see the vent, your, your heat pump for your water right there. You have some controls over here. On the wall this is your air conditioner you can't be on solar to run your air conditioner unless you have six lithium batteries fully charged and i would say probably six of the 350 watt panels up top which is something i'm just thinking about doing but i'm not and this is your hot water set up here you can change how hot you want your um, water to be and things like that okay well, that concludes the tour of the inside. I'm going to take you outside and show you some of the storage. You also have this right here that can hold the door. 
there's a place there to hold it so it won't move. If it does have a high wind come up, like super high wind, it holds it in place. You have a, uh, a water source here that you can take your water hose that's on the other side. You got some outlets here if you want to hook up something. You got an antenna you can hook up a TV out here. These are Goodyear tires. And you also notice that the uh, tires have a little bit of a uh, wider suspension, which gives it a better travel. A lot of smaller trailers don't do that. Grand Design did. These, you can see the tires are brand new. And they're ready to go to um, TPS, which means, uh, you know, you can put a can air pressure gauge on it and be monitored on the inside of your truck as you're going down the road. It's an easy kit to install, but I did not do that. And there's your, there's your heat pump I was telling you about that's mounted underneath your table. Again, here's an exterior door you can use from your bedroom if somebody's sleeping in the dinette. Your dinette will sleep two people. They have to be under 5'11 to fit in there. Your awning is 19 feet. I'm not going to let it out because we're in pollen season. Got two stereo speakers up there that work great. I think I liked about the awning, it was, it ran the whole way of the trailer. That's pretty awesome to have one that long. This is your storage. You can see that we have an upgraded camera here. There's one on the other side. I'll show you the one on the rear. This camper came with no backup cameras, but uh, we had that dealer installed. Got two new water hoses here. Got two new um, hoses, one for your gray and one for your dart. You got your motion light, that motion, that's a motion light sensor there. All the way over there, you got your power cord. You got plenty of storage space underneath here. There's a uh, spray nozzle on that tiny water hose over there that you can, like I said, take off and use over here by your grill, if you're grilling by your front, your door that you go in and out of. This is magnet mounted, so it stays up there. You can lock it with that uh, lock right there with your key to your door. This comes with a standard deep cell battery, but you have room to put two more batteries here. And if you know somebody that does cellular, they can install some more. There is room under that dinette for about four more batteries that you can put more solar into. This is part of a sway bar kit that I never used. Blue Ox makes it. It's a $950 kit that was installed by the dealer, but I never did use the sway bars because I had a 3,500 truck. And I had this assembly on the, my tailgate for this particular RV and it worked great. And I'm willing to sell that too. This has a uh, power lift gate, I mean a power tongue weight gate. It goes up or down. It has a light right here that works. So if you're doing something at night and you need some light. Okay. We never used the gas, um, except when we were using, I think we took about four hot showers. So they're pretty full. There's, 30, there's two 30 pound tanks of propane gas in there, the power cord right there. I'm gonna show you in the back of my bed of my truck, the uh, Blue Ox sway bars. They're brand new in the box, never been used. Like I said, this camper is only about three and a half weeks old. We've had some emergency happen in our family and we're selling it. So our loss and your gain. I'm going to these steps up and I'm going to show you the back of the camera, camper. In the pictures, you, I'm a, I took some pictures up on the roof. You can see we had some bird poop there. Got a spare tire, brand new. And then here's your uh, rear view camera. And that works with a cigarette lighter. It works really good. You can mount it on your inside. And this is with your slide out right here. 
If you'll look in the pictures, you'll see that I don't have the slide out. There's several videos on YouTube that you can look at this where they give you fancy reviews. There's even a couple people that stand on that slide. I never did, but that's how sturdy these are built. That is a dealer installed cover over that slide. So it does have a cover. Really like the uh, design of this. It's really good. Thank you.